These are the tools that you will need. Some water, paper towels, big brushes, and any colors that you guys want to use. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I want you guys to do is flip over your foam board and spray it kind of generously with water. And then you can just use a wet sponge or a cloth, paper towel to kind of smooth it out and spread it around, but get it nice and wet. And this will prevent most of the warping. So then flip it back over to the side you want to paint on and spray it again just a little bit to help your acrylic paints um, spread a little bit more easier and um, blend in more easier. Then pick your color or a couple colors that you want to use and just put them right onto the foam board and just start mixing. Grab a big brush, a big brush is a must, or a sponge will work as well. And gradually either add more colors or um, do some splashing. So just kind of start mixing them together. And this doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is not a painting. This is just for your background. So have a lot of fun, add colors, mix them in, um, put some on top and add some other ones and just, just have fun. You can do lots of textures with different brushes and all kinds of stuff. So just experiment. And once I have a pretty good background, what I usually do is grab a little bit of white paint and water and either a brush or a toothbrush and just dip it in there. And I make some nice splatters all over my background. All right, so here I just kind of shake it on top and then I just use my finger to make little tiny splatters. And in the end, it's gonna look amazing. So this is what it looks like. You can see my splatters. You can see the uneven background, how it's all just kind of abstract looking and mixed up. And this is what it might look like if you don't spray the back with water at first. Um, this one wasn't sprayed. This is a different one that I'm going to show you. Um, the way to undo it is to spray it again. Or if you really want to be awesome and take advantage of it, just do another background color on there. Just make it pink or purple or whatever you want. Um, that way it'll get wet in the process and it'll straighten out a little bit more. So if you decide to paint it or not paint it and spray it, just get it wet, um, nice and even, quite a lot of wetness needs to be added because it needs to match the front so it kind of evens out and then if you apply paint you have to wait till it's almost dry and if you don't apply paint um, you can just put something right on top of this something heavy on all four corners in the middle as well just to keep it nice and flat for a few hours um, usually just do this overnight so then in the morning you wake up and it's nice and straight so that's what you have to do okay guys so always spray the back with water if it warps or just start doing another painting um, of your background on the back and that way you have two different colors to um, use in your art all right guys so here is the finished project and i already used it for a little video i just did so i have my little camera set up right here on this tripod and then my lettering and watercolor in the back on top of my new background and it looks amazing in pictures it's a super easy diy and it takes only a few minutes and it looks amazing and it's kind of unique nobody's gonna have the same background as you and you can choose any colors you want so i encourage you guys to try this out and i can't wait to see your photos laid out on top of your backgrounds